Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate Saint Aloysius Gonzaga, a young man who decided to follow the Lord even in his young age. We also commemorate this day the predecessors of Cardinal Jose Advincula. Today we celebrate the birthday of Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle and we also commemorate the death anniversary of Jaime Cardinal Sin. And so in this celebration, we offer to the Lord our thanksgiving for His graces to our Archdiocese. To prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, giver of heavenly gifts, 
who in St. Aloysius Gonzaga joined penitence to a wonderful innocence of life. Grant through his merits and intercession that though we have failed to follow him in innocence, we may imitate him in penitence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abram, Go forth from the land of your kinsfolk and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and curse those who curse you. All the communities of the earth shall find blessing in you. Abram went as the Lord directed him, and Lot went with him. Abram was seventy-five years old when he left Haran. Abram took his wife, Sarai, his brother's son, Lot, all the possessions that they had accumulated and the persons they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan. When they came to the land of Canaan, Abram passed through the land as far as the sacred place at Shechem by the Terebinth of Moreh. The Canaanites were then in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your descendants I will give this land. So Abram built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he moved on to the hill country east of Bethel, pitching his tent with Bethel to the west and I to the east. He built an altar there to the Lord and invoked the Lord by name. Then Abram journeyed on by stages to the Negev. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death, and preserve them in spite of famine. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging that you may not be judged. 
For as you judge, so will you be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me remove that splinter from your eye while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first. Then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The message of God to Abraham in our first reading is, I think, the message also of God to all of us. God said to Abraham, I will bless you so that you will be a blessing to others. Binasbasan po tayo ng Panginoon nang sa gayon tayo naman ay isang maging pagbabasbas din sa ibang tao. God blesses us so that we might become a blessing to others. And God does not will that we become a curse to others. Instead, He sent Abraham to be a blessing to many nations. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, by recognizing how blessed we are, we become also a blessing to others. Today, let us decide, am I going to be a curse or am I going to be a blessing to other people? Our gospel passage today is a reminder of this. When Jesus said to his disciples, when you correct another person, you do not correct him to judge him. But instead, you correct other people by trying to help them and to improve them. Tayo po ay may ugnayan sa kapwa, hindi para maghusgahan tayo, kundi kung mayroon man kamalian ng ating kapwa, itama natin para sa kanyang kapakanan, at gayon din naman, tayo rin ang ating mga sarili ay susubukan din nating itama. Nang sa gayon, ang ating pakikipag-ugnayan sa kapwa ay isang maging tunay na biyaya. You will be a blessing to others if you do not judge them. But in fact, we will be a blessing to others if we will become an instrument of goodness for them. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today, we choose to become a blessing to others. Today, we commemorate a lot of people who chose to become a blessing to others. Saint Aloysius Gonzaga, a young man, from his young age, he decided to follow the Lord. In fact, at 17, he decided to become a Jesuit and offered his life, leaving behind a life of power, a life of treasure, a life of political power for his family. Instead, he decided to enter the religious life to become a blessing to others. He died at the age of 23. 
because there was a pandemic also during his time, he served the sick and he himself became ill and died of the pandemic at that time while serving the sick people. Today, we also commemorate the death anniversary of Jaime Cardinal Sin. Cardinal Sin decided to become a blessing to the Filipino nation instead of being a curse. He decided to speak out against the dictatorship so that we might regain our freedom and human rights. Today, we also pray to the Lord for Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle, who celebrates his birthday today. He is now in Rome doing a greater mission for God, choosing to become a blessing also to many people. And we also thank the Lord for the gift of our new Archbishop, Jose Cardinal Advincula, who will be installed this coming Thursday. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, we have a lot of people today to become our inspiration. Inspiration to choose to become a blessing instead of being a curse to people. Sana sa araw po na ito, mga kapatid, pagkatapos ng misa na ito, paghayo po natin, paglabas po natin sa simbakan na ito, sana maging biyaya po tayo ngayong araw sa ibang tao. Hindi maging tagahusga, hindi maging sumpa sa buhay ng ibang tao, kundi kapag tayo ay nakita at nakasalamuhan ng ibang tao, masabi nilang tayo ay naging daluyan ng biyaya ng Diyos. Today, become a blessing to others. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to our merciful Father that we may be generous and charitable in our opinion of others. For every petition, let us say, Father, teach us your mercy. Father, teach us your mercy. That the Church may fulfill her ministry of healing and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, teach, teach us your mercy. That government lead officials may show care and concern for the poor and the marginalized. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, teach us your mercy. That we may be able to see our own faults and refrain from passing judgment on the failures of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, teach us your mercy, that the sick, the lonely, and the handicapped may find healing and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, teach us your mercy, that our departed relatives and friends may find peace and eternal joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, teach us your mercy. Merciful Father, these prayers and intentions we bring before you express our needs and our hopes. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Grant us, O Lord, that by the example of St. Aloysius, we may take our place at the heavenly banquet, clothed always in our wedding garment, so that by participation in this mystery, we may possess the riches of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for in the marvelous confession of your saints you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Aloysius and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Bring us who have been fed with the food of angels, O Lord, to serve you in purity of life. And following the example of St. Aloysius, whom we honor today, may we persevere in constant thanksgiving. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now all together pray the prayer of gratitude for the gift of our new Archbishop. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ good, good Shepherd and High Priest, priest we, we offer pray, we praise you and, and offer you our sincere gratitude for calling Cardinal Jose Advincula to serve, to serve as our Archbishop. May he lead us as a loving shepherd who cares for his flock and seeks out the lost sheep. May he be for us a gentle and listening father, a faithful teacher and a steward of your sacred mysteries. Grant him health, strength, and wisdom Strengthen the bonds of unity among us, your priests and faithful in our archdiocese, so that we may serve you as one body. Purify us and sustain us in charity, for your love for us never fails. Grant that the faithful of our local church may boldly answer your call to mission. You who you live, live and reign with, with the Father and the, and the Holy Spirit, Spirit God, forever and, and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Lord, we give our, our hands. hands.